What's up, everybody? Mike with the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. Um, I am coming to you uh, not live, but a recorded video. Dina is right behind me, my wife. We just received our bottles of Unpossible Mead. Uh, this is a Meadow Foam Blossom Mead aged eight months in our Glass Gem uh, bourbon barrel from Whiskey Acres. The Glass Gem bourbon sold out in just a couple hours. It was released earlier this year in January. Um, huge, huge release from us. It was aged in glass. Uh, it was a glass gem corn mash bill. Um, if you guys don't know what glass gem corn looks like, go to Google, look it up right now. It looks absolutely incredible. Really, really great bourbon. So what we did with that barrel, since we had to do something with it, we decided to give it to our buddy, Brian Galbreath down in Dwight, Illinois, Unpossible Mead. And he finished a uh, mead in, in that barrel. And these just came to me yesterday. This has been in the refrigerator for about an hour just to kind of keep it chilled. And we are going to taste it. And Dina, my wife, is behind me. She's going to taste it with me. I have only ever had mead, I think, like once, maybe twice in my life. So I'm very curious. Uh, mead is a, think of it like a honey wine. So what you do is you take honey, dilute it down with water, add yeast, and then you kind of, uh, it does the whole fermenting process from there, and then it carbonates itself, and then you can uh, you can serve it as is. You can serve it room temperature, chilled. Um, in this instance, it was finished in a bourbon barrel, one of, uh, one of our bourbon barrels from the Fox Valley Whiskey Society. Alrighty. So again, this is a 14% alcohol um, aged in bourbon barrels. Definitely, you can smell the bourbon. For sure, you can smell the bourbon in there. It's sweet and good. Oh, that's very sweet. That's like a dessert wine. That's like something you would have like after yeah. after a meal. Um, because it is brewed, I guess, from honey, it is going to be very, very sweet. This one definitely, I mean, it's sugar, brown sugar, lots and lots of honey. That barrel comes through, that bourbon barrel comes through quite a bit. Um, but not like, it's not like overpowering. I mean, it doesn't taste like bourbon. I would almost like, I kind of want to just drink it all right now. It's really good. This almost reminds me of like a Moscato, mm -hmm. but like not carbonated. This is very, very lightly carbonated. Yeah. I mean, there's like no bubbliness to this at all. It's not like a typical wine. Like we like Rieslings and Moscatos, like those Kool-Aid wines. Lots and lots and lots of honey. Honey, honey. Lots of honey. Yeah. Which makes sense because it's a it's a honey wine or a honey beer. A honey wine, I think technically is what this is. Aged eight months in our glass gem bourbon barrel. The bourbon barrel comes through like very, very faintly. It's not overpowering. The nose is like walking through like a grass, like a grassy field, like a flowery field. Fourteen percent alcohol. Mead. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Very, very interesting. I will say this: I'm glad I got two bottles of this. Yeah. I'm glad he sent two bottles of this because I have a I have a feeling this bottle is gonna be is gonna be gone real quick. This is this is definitely like a dessert thing. This isn't something you sip like before a meal or during a meal. This is like after a meal. Real sweet, but not like overpoweringly sweet. It's not very dry at all. Kind of like some white wines or red wines that kind of like suck the moisture out of your mouth. This is just sweet, honey, slightly grassy. The barrel finish in there, you 100, 100% get that barrel finish in there in both the nose and the palate. Out of five, 
because I don't like to rate on, a, on the 100 point scale. Out of five, I would. I don't really know what else to compare this to because I've only ever had two meads in my life, and I don't remember them very well. So I'm going to compare this to like what I've had from like a Moscato or a Riesling because I think that's what it most. It's probably closest to is like a Moscato. I would give this like. I would give this a solid like 4.25. It's I wish it was like a little bit more carbonated. I think the carbonation would would add something to it. And for uh for an emoji, because I always like because I like to give them emojis too. I would give this the uh I'd give this the little honey barrel, a thumbs up, and the star emoji. I think it's just really, really good. I like it. I like it a lot. I'm glad I got two bottles. I'm going to put the cork back in this because I don't know <clears throat> I don't know how long mead lasts once it's opened. So we'll find out. Brian Galbraith, thank you so much from Impossible Mead. Um, the link for Impossible Mead is going to be posted below in the video. Um, so make sure to follow them on you, uh, Instagram and Facebook. Um, and then subscribe to this channel. We'll be back next Wednesday for another review. See you guys. Thanks, Dina.